Hello all of you. So in this class, we'll be learning how to download and install Power BI. It's very simple. It just takes five minutes, and you need a good internet connection for this. So first of all, you can open your any uh, web browser. I've opened Google Chrome, and you can type download Power BI um, for desktop. So now uh, remember you have to click on the second link which is www.microsoft.com it will take you to the downloads section directly so i'll click on this link i will uh, provide this link to you all um, otherwise uh, as you all can see you can copy paste it from here just scroll down and it will take you to my microsoft power bi desktop and we need the english version i'll click on the download the moment you click on download it will take you the what file type you need to download 64 bit or 32 bit uh, so generally now all of us uh, have 64 bit laptops and desktops so i'll just click on 64 bit and i'll click on next the moment you click on next it will ask you where do you want to put your executable file or the setup so i'll click on save this will take another one or two minutes to download um i i am downloading it in the downloads folder you all can download it wherever you want and um once this file is downloaded we'll just have to execute this and it's just two or three steps which is required and then we'll get a microsoft uh, power bi now here um two three questions first do we need do is this paid no this is not paid this is free anyone can use it second those who have microsoft 365 or any other uh, excel versions you all can use your id to log in otherwise it's not important because today we are just uh, downloading it for educational purposes so it's not important for you all to log in or create your account you all can just straight away start using microsoft power bi before uh, before or without um, creating any kind of account so just a few seconds before this particular executable file gets downloaded once this gets downloaded we'll just double click on it and we'll execute we'll just move across different steps to install the power bi all right also it's very user friendly you can use it on your pcs lap ipads um tablets um mobile phones anywhere so this is the desktop version if you are using it on your ipads you will be needing the other version so once you have downloaded this either you can just open it from here or you can go to your downloads folder and you can open it from there um so i'll just open it from here this will be the better place now okay so i have to install it takes a few moments because it depends on the speed of your laptop as well so i have too many files over here that's the reason it is a bit slow so i'll just click on finish now i'll click on the select language english so it's already set as english click on next and then click on yes do you want your application to make any changes to your device click on yes again it will take some time to set it up uh also depends on the speed of your pc that you're using i accept all the terms and conditions and click on next so where do you want your program files so this is the destination folder where all the files that you will be using for your power bi will be stored so here as you all can see my location is c drive program files so it will automatically create a power bi folder in the c drive so i'll not change this i'll keep it as it is and i'll click on install so another one minute it will take for the entire thing to be downloaded we'll just have to wait for a few moments do not change the file path um or if you have if you if you feel comfortable to stay or stay with somewhere else you can do that but generally um whatever different tools we deal with be it power bi r programming by default all of these are stored in your c drive under program files folder so do not change it keep it as it is but if you are uh, maybe you know uh, if you, if anything else is comfortable to you then you can do that 
so see it is copying new files so basically it is creating that particular folder there are different sample files also which we can use in power bi so all those sample files and whatever is required gets saved over there it takes a few moment for the um entire process to get completed okay so till the time this is getting done uh, what you all can do is you all can download it along with me so that you don't skip any step however it's very simple you just have to click on next 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 and that is how it takes you to the final step all right so another one or two minutes and it will be done make sure you have a good internet connection for downloading however for installing you do not need so now it's almost there i'll click on finish the moment you click on finish it will automatically launch the power bi desktop if you do not want to launch it you can untick this but however i want to show it to you all how it looks like so i'll just click on finish it will take another few seconds because um also depends on the speed of your laptop and pc which you are working with don't be impatient just give it a little time okay so this is my now um here they will ask you that would you need to buy the my uh, the power bi license so i will just click on no for the time being because we do not need to uh, collaborate and share this is only for educational purpose we want to learn so there are people who use this so you can create an account you can collaborate your work you can share your files you can share your work with other users however i'll just click on cross over here now this is the entire setup how it looks like so uh, you all can see there are different ways you can get data you can get the data uh, from um, excel sql server you can create a blank you can paste a, you can simply copy paste a blank table you can try the sample data sets i'll just click on this get data the moment you click on this get data a window will pop up and in this window you can see all the places where from which i can get my data uh, data into power bi so there are multiple places we can get it from r programming we can get it from sql text file json and all these different places where i can get my data from so uh, what i can do for the time being is i'll click on cancel and i'll show you all how we can work with a sample data set so you can click on the sample data set and click on load sample data so here uh, here you all can see we get one sample data which is the financial sample these are the two sheets which are there within this xlsx or excel file i'll click on the first sheet and this is how it will look like so we have different segments countries product and just scroll and see the entire data set that we have if you want to load it in your power bi you'll just click on load the moment you click on load it gets load over here it gets loaded over here it takes a few moment again to get the entire thing ready all right so now uh, where do i see the data you will have to click on this data icon over here and the moment you click it you can see you have the entire table how it will look like in an excel file the similar way it looks over here so if i just click on maybe product 
I can actually you know filter out for whatever product I need to it's the exact same way you deal with a excel file here I can create my own visualizations there are different visualizations that we see bar chart column chart pie chart and many more uh, here we can actually build a model if you have two three data sets and you want to uh, correlate or maybe you know you want to deal with different data sets to build a model you can do it over here um, these are the different uh, these are the different tabs and these are the different functionality in each of the tabs so we'll be going through all of these in the next coming classes um, and this is how your power bi should look like thank you so much now make sure you have this ready before the next class because we'll be straight away jumping into the power bi thank you